All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to go over the FaceFX Unity pipeline from the perspective of somebody who hasn't purchased anything. You're evaluating FaceFX, you've downloaded the FaceFX evaluation installer, and you're using Unity Free. And what we can do from the evaluation version of FaceFX is uh, load up the FaceFX plugin for Maya. There's other tutorials that are going to go into the details of this uh, and create bone poses for our character. Um, and uh, we actually don't need face effects to create the bone poses, but once we've created them, we'll export them into face effects. So bone poses are just uh, uh, keyframes in your Maya or Max or XSI timeline, timeline uh, that put the face into a specific position uh, that we can then drive from within Unity. So I'm going to assume you've already created uh, your bone poses and you've exported your reference pose and bone poses. If you don't know how to do that, you should watch some other tutorials in faceeffects.com first. Um, and uh, we can just save out the .faceFX file uh, with all the bone poses. Uh, we'll call it Evolver Bone Poses. Place the file that's there. And we can also, in the Unity uh, uh, FaceFX integration, transfer bone poses from one character to another, assuming they have the exact same skeleton bones. If the bones are in different positions, because one character is male or female, or tall or short, uh, we can still save some work and transfer the bone poses over. I'm going to demonstrate that uh, by creating a new actor called Phrase Locked. Uh, he has no reference pose and no bone poses because we're going to use that from another actor, um, but we're going to create the animation. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is change the analysis actor uh, that we use to generate this animation. The analysis actor uh, generates the gesture curves uh, and uh, we need gesture curves that go right down to the bone poses that we've created. Um, you can see a list of all the bone poses that we use uh, in these Evolver characters, and we need curves that match these things exactly. Um, so we need a, an eyebrow raise left curve and an eyebrow raise right curve, for example, um, or a head pitch positive um, and head pitch negative curve, as opposed to a single head pitch curve uh, that's going to go fit, be fed through a face graph. We can't run the face graph in Unity, so we need the curves going right down to the bone pose level. So we select the analysis actor that will output the curves for the bone poses that we have, uh, and then we're going to generate an animation. Because this is an evaluation plugin, uh, the animation that we create has to have a specific phrase. Welcome to Face Effects. I've always wanted to say this live from New York. It's Saturday night. I have an audio file that says that phrase. Uh, I'm going to generate it in the default group uh, because that's what my Unity uh, demo uses. And then I'm going to save the .faceFX file, <coughs> and we'll call it phrase locked. Replace the file that's here. Uh, now we can load up FaceFX Studio Free, which was included in the FaceFX evaluation installer, uh, and open up these files and export them into XML files that the Unity integration can read. Um, now we created this Evolver Bone Poses file, but I'm actually not going to use it. I'm going to use it use a different XML file. Uh, from a, a different Evolver character that has bone poses created for that character with a slightly different skeleton and apply it to my character. Uh, so we'll skip that step and we'll just do it for phrase locked. Uh, we've opened up our phrase locked face effects file and we're just going to export it as an XML file. And we're going to call it phrase locked XML. And now we have everything we need uh, to go into Unity. We've loaded up our Unity. Um, project uh, that you can download from faceeffects.com. Uh, if we wanted to, we could just load up the phrase lock demo, which has a very, a very, it's as simple as you can get, just this Doug character playing uh, the phrase locked audio uh, and animation. So we can play it, and that's what you get. Now, to create this scene, um, if we wanted to create something like this, uh, we would start with a new scene. Uh, we're going to bring in our Jake character this time. Now this prefab just has the light and the camera all set up. We haven't done anything with face effects yet. You can see that the animations are zero. Um, we need to do all this by hand, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, the first step is to attach the face effects controller script uh, to our Unity character, uh, to our game object. Um, we're going to lose the prefab connection. Uh, you'll notice that the face effects controller script has a few options. Uh, one is the scale factor. If we scaled our character in Unity, uh, from when we created the bone poses in Maya, or Max, or Soft Image, that's going to cause a problem unless we uh, tell face effects about the scale factor here. Uh, the use reference pose from FBX is checked uh, because this is the reference pose that I created in face effects. 
Uh, it's the exact same T pose that the uh, FBX file that Unity is looking at is. Um, because those are the same, what I can do is import bone poses from a different uh, Evolver character and use the changes in the uh, um, T pose here to figure out what the differences are between the characters and then I can use the information that's contained in the bone poses files and apply it to the new character. Um, if my face effects uh, reference pose was not the same as this T pose, I wouldn't be able to do that. I would have to uncheck it and I'd have to create bone poses for each of my characters separately uh, even if they just had this, you know, uh, very similar skeleton, uh, I wouldn't be able to transfer the bone poses at all. I have to create the bone poses from scratch each time. Uh, but with this box, we can take a little shortcut. Uh, and we're going to show that here. We're just going to go to Assets, Import Face Effects XML Actor. Uh, that option is available because in, I have that editor script installed. Uh, and we can see uh, this Evolver Actor file is what has the bone poses from the Doug character. Uh, and it's in the XML file. Uh, who has a, Doug has a slightly different skeleton than Jake, um, but it's okay because uh, we've got the use reference pose from FBX chat. We're going to import the uh, actor file, and we can see immediately that it worked because the, uh, there weren't any errors, and we've completed importing the FaceFX XML file here, and the animations have been created. Um, we can see all of the bone poses that we now are free to uh, drive with animation data. Uh, we don't have any animations. Uh, just the bone poses so far. Um, to add an animation, specifically the phrase locked animation that we generated, um, we're going to import the face effects XML animations. Um, this will leave the bone poses the same. Uh, it won't look at that part of the XML file. It'll just import uh, the animation component. Uh, the other one will import both the animations and the bone poses. Uh, we're going to look in our phrase locked uh, XML file and you can see we've added this default phrase locked animation. That's the exact animation that our um, phrase lock demo will look at. So we just create an empty game object, attach the phrase locked uh, demo object, uh, um, and that will play the animation. The one other thing we have to do is we have to rename this guy Doug because that's the name that the phrase lock demo script looks for. And we also have to put the audio clip, his default audio clip, to the phrase locked audio, because that's how uh, this demo finds the audio. And so now, if everything works, we should have transferred the bone poses from the Doug character to the Jake character, uh, generated the phrase locked animation from the FaceFX plugin, um, and then gone through FaceFX Studio Free to export it as an XML file, and then imported all that stuff into Unity to play. And you can see he is talking. So that is how, um, if you wanted to purchase a FaceFX plugin, you could do this for arbitrary audio. Uh, if you wanted to have a very powerful pipeline, you can purchase FaceFX Studio Professional uh, and do things like transfer bone poses between characters and save them out in the XML file. Notice that when we transferred bone poses here, uh, it was just uh, within Unity. I can't now go back out into uh, Max or Maya. Um, there's a lot of other power that FaceFX Studio uh, Professional has. Um, but we've successfully demonstrated the Unity pipeline with just the evaluation uh, plugins. Uh, I hope you liked the tutorial. Let us know if you have any questions.